Hey guys, it's Sam and Andrew, and we're here with our top five craziest costumes in DOA. Number five, Helena. Uh, we have uh, this lovely um, bikini. She- I think. I think it's a bikini. Mm-hmm. I she looks like uh, the goddess Venus. She uh, hey, so you know why she used uh, seashells in this uh, in this costume? Are you gonna pull this joke already? Because she couldn't fit into any B shells. Wha- oh. Oh. oh, oh, nailed it! In the realm of DOA costumes, this isn't too crazy. I guess. That, well, but, I mean, hence why it's our number five. Yeah, so it's number five because it's it's not too crazy. Um, but the fact that when she's fighting, she pretty much looks naked. Uh, more so than any of the other scantily clad ladies. Uh, yeah. Also, I'm, I'm pretty mad that you didn't capture this with her in the braid. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And I, I just I, I, I don't have a braid thing, so it just I completely. I have to say that me. for everybody that's watching this video, that's fans of Helena mm-hmm. and uh, Helena fans. I apologize. Helena fans. Helena fans. Elena fans. We've I argued apologize. about how to say I'm her name. And it. So help, help. Help, please. All right, number four, Tina. Tina and her towel. Uh, Tina towel. Tina towel. Towel Tina. Towel Tina. Tiny, teeny tiny, teeny Te- teeny. Towel Tina. Teeny tiny <laughs> Towel Tina. There you go. That's that's what I'm sticking with. Anyway, she's fighting in a towel. She's fighting in a towel. That's very, this that's is pretty much... crazy because how is the towel holding on? That is still one of the main mysteries of this entire I game. need to know. I think, you know that they make boob tape? I'm pretty yes, sure it's they used. do. It's probably heavily used in All this. All over. Because, yes. and also, the towel doesn't flap around. It doesn't flap around. It's... It stays exactly where it needs to be. Uh, it, it covers exactly what needs to be covered, and that's it. I wish that I had a towel like this. <laughs> Me too. Let's head on to number three, which is Neo Tengu, which is cat suit with mask. Uh, I, I personally chose this one because while the, the whole BDSM mock-up is quite interesting, it really takes the cake with the mask that she's wearing. It's a Tengu mask. And I, I'm, I'm glad they chose it in this. This very highly sexualized oh. um, costume with just this long phallic nose. It's very interesting. I like the spandex look. Is that spandex? I guess it's spandex or leather. Uh, I think the the DOA wiki said that it is uh, leather, black leather cat suit with mask. I think that's like the official name. Is there a reason why her name is Neo Tengu and that she would be wearing Neo, a Tengu mask? I'm... Neo, Neo Tengu, she's a Tengu. She's, oh, a fe- okay. she's a female Tengu. Neo Tengu means female heavenly dog. And it's just a mythological creature in, um, I think, Shinto, uh, in the Shinto religion. And uh, yeah, she's just basically a giant demonic crow. With thing. a big With a phallic, big phallic nose. nose. Number two is John Lee as Puff the Magic Dragon. That's definitely Puff the Magic Dragon. It is the same color scheme as Puff the Magic Dragon, so obviously they were going for that. Isn't there a song for Puff the Magic Dragon? Puff the Magic Dragon lives by the sea. That's all I know. I don't even know if that's the actual lyrics. Is that it? It's Puff the Magic Dragon. Ooh. So that's, yeah, break it down. Yeah, Andrew. see, you know, I can sing. Yeah. Um, yeah, this is just great. I don't know what part, like, what DLC this was part of, but, mm. uh, A+. Plus. I'm very happy. That I love this. It's great. It's great to see him fight in it. I was gonna say, we didn't want to focus on just, you know, shockingly um, naked yes. costumes. Yeah, we wanted to avoid that. So the top the costumes top two, yeah. are actually just ridiculous. Ridiculous. So this is number two, and then let's just jump over to number one in his, uh, cyberpunk... Teletubby outfit, uh, silver edition, because we just think it looks a little bit better than the gold one. Uh, so, what are you, what are you, what are your immediate thoughts upon this costume? Uh, well, when I first saw it, I thought steampunk Teletubby. Yeah, no, it's uh, it's really weird, and uh, I don't know if you like you can really see while he's fighting, but the, the antenna on his forehead is just making some very uh, important movements. Let's just say. Uh, Do you know what is, this actually is? What's the name of this one? Um, I don't think it has an official name. I think I think in the lose animation is what really sold oh, me. Wait. If you just see, it's just like him in that Ooh. position with the antenna still just like going. It's pulsating. Just really? Look at yeah. It. Just, it's just it's just going. It's pulsating. It's going fucking nuts. Yeah. What what do you call? It? Is that just an antenna? I'm gonna call it an antenna. I'm gonna be polite and call it an antenna. 
And that's it. That's it for our top five craziest costumes in Dead or Alive. So what costumes do you think guys deserved a nod? Let us know in the comments below. For more content like this and for all of your gaming needs, be sure to head over to shacknews.com. Dot com.